My Lord and my God, I firmly believe that you are here, that you see me, that you hear me. I adore you with profound reverence. I ask your pardon for my sins and the grace to make this time of prayer fruitful. My Immaculate Mother, St. Joseph, my Father and Lord, my Guardian Angel, intercede for me. Several years ago, I was on a retreat, and one of the other persons on the retreat was an elderly priest. We can call him Don Fernando, and he was about 90 years old at the time. And his health was very good. Uh, of course, he had some problems, and one of the problems was that his knees bothered him a lot. He could walk from his room to the living room or from uh, from his living room to the chapel, you know, short distances, but he couldn't walk around for an extended period of time. So on one of the days of the retreat, we were praying the rosary, and during the rosary, some of us were walking around. In my case, I was walking because otherwise I would have fallen asleep if I had stayed seated in a chair. So I was walking, and I would walk past Don Fernando, who was sitting down. And at one point, as I'm walking by, I see that he starts to doze off a little bit. You know, his his eyes close, and he his head starts to nod. And, and I just thought to myself, I said, poor guy, he's, he's 90 years old. Probably didn't sleep very much last night. Anyway, no big deal, you know. And so as I do my loop, when I come back, back around, back to where he was sitting, I see that he, he's not there anymore. And I look up, and he's walking around. Um, and then a minute later, he sits back down. I know because, because of his knees, I'm sure. And then, um, and then several minutes later, the same thing happened. He starts to doze off, and then he gets up, and he walks around a little bit to wake up. And then, and then he sits back down. And you realize what he's doing. He is, he is fighting to stay awake, to pray the rosary as well as he can. It's a spirit of struggle, out of love for Mary, out of love for Jesus. And it's great, and it's something that we also want to have. If we ever reach 90, yes, and most importantly, right now. And I say most importantly because we don't know if we'll, we'll reach 90. And also, God's will can only be carried out in the present moment, and that's right now. Today is the Feast of Blessed Guadalupe Ortiz Landasuri, a member of Opus Dei. She was from Spain. She was beatified in 2019. And during her life, among other things, she helped start a student residence for women in Bilbao, Spain. She also went to Mexico to help spread the message of Opus Dei there. She was later a chemistry professor. And Blessed Guadalupe exemplifies very well that spirit of struggle. Holiness doesn't mean having a perfect record. Holiness doesn't mean never making a mistake. Holiness is friendship with you, Jesus. And you are the greatest friend there is. You came to save me. You, you died for me. You forgive my sins whenever I mess up. Whenever I want your forgiveness, I get it. That's a great friend. He's always by our side. He's given us the sacraments so that we know we're receiving His grace. So, it's all about thanking Him. It's all about telling Him that we're sorry when we fall short and trying to be loyal to Him the way He's loyal, the way he's loyal to us. Because His friendship is always going to be there. So that's holiness. Holiness is, is responding to the friendship. And Jesus you're such a great friend. You came, you came to save us from our sins. 
to let us know that we're not alone. You gave us encouragement. Jesus encourages. He doesn't condemn. He comes to build us up, not break us down. He comes to build us up, not in a superficial way, but truly, right? With forgiveness. Um, one thing that Jesus tells us, and these, these are certainly words of encouragement. He says, You are the light of the world. A city set on a mountain cannot be hidden, nor do they light a lamp and then put it under a bushel basket. It is set on a lampstand where it gives light to all in the house. Just so, your light must shine before others that they may see your good deeds and glorify your heavenly Father. We are the light of the world, Jesus says. And to light up the world for God's glory with our good deeds. And if we try, if we, if we struggle, if we fight, Jesus will help us. And if we're trying, there will be good deeds. Yes, there will be shortcomings because we are sinners. But there will be good deeds. Good deeds which show our love for God. Good deeds which expand our hearts to love Him more and to love others. Blessed Guadalupe wrote many letters to St. Jose Maria, the founder of Opus Dei. And those letters contain all different kinds of things. But it, it, she wrote whatever was on her mind, whatever was in her heart. She would tell him how she was doing. She would give him updates about the apostolic activities going on in the place where she was living. She would ask him for prayers, for different intentions. And I wanted to read a little bit from one of those letters where she talks specifically about her own shortcomings. And I like this a lot because I can identify with this. You know, She says, Every night when I examine my conscience, I see that I've left out something from the plan of life. The plan of life being her, her plan for prayer. Some days I didn't do my spiritual reading. Some days I skipped the rosary or said it without even realizing what I was doing. Or I cut off a bit of time from the prayer. As I write it now, I, real, I feel really sorry for having done this because, as you know for sure, it's nothing but a lack of awareness of God's presence and a lot of disorderliness. And in spite of everything, I do fight. And I do make an effort, I assure you. And I want you to be able to have confidence in me and our Lord to be happy with me. I think he is, and he forgives me, because I can see how much he helps me despite it all. Don't imagine that this means that I'm not happy. I am. I am very happy. I enjoy everything. And I try to do it as well as I can. Guadalupe, blessed Guadalupe, was a happy fighter. Happy not because she did everything right. No, but because she knew Jesus loves her and she wanted to correspond. So learning from Blessed Guadalupe, we can ask ourselves, here in Jesus' presence, how do I react when I miss my spiritual reading or I miss my time of prayer or the rosary? Do I get discouraged? Do I get sad, which then will lead me not to try anymore? Hopefully not. Jesus, I don't want to respond in that way. Because it would also be a lack of faith and trust in you. That you welcome me back, that you are encouraging me, that you are telling me you are the light of the world. With your good deeds, you will give glory to God. Keep trying. The devil wants us to get discouraged, not Jesus. Today, besides being the Feast of Blessed Guadalupe, it is also Pope St. John Paul II's birthday. And so we can wish him a happy birthday there in heaven, the best place to celebrate. And he and Blessed Guadalupe and everybody in heaven, they encourage us not to give up. Not to give in to discouragement 
when we run up against our shortcomings, our sins. No, no. We are the light of the world because we are with Christ. Because we are children of God. And we have the help of the Holy Spirit. So no, there's there's no reason for discouragement. But Lord, sometimes we do get discouraged. So Jesus, help us. Help us realize that you're always with us. And help us fight to begin again. So if we fall short in our prayer life, let's not give up. It makes no sense to give up. We have Jesus by our side. So Lord, help us be happy fighters like Blessed Guadalupe, like Pope St. John Paul II. And thus, we can be that light of the world that you want us to be. I thank you, my God, for the good resolutions, affections, and inspirations that you've communicated to me in this meditation. I ask your help to put them into effect. My Immaculate Mother, St. Joseph, my Father and Lord, my Guardian Angel, intercede for me.